Good evening. The Murfreesboro insurance agent accused of fraudulent practices is fighting to keep the license that allows her to sell insurance. The state of Tennessee is trying to revoke Kelsey Ketron's license after she allegedly took a homeowner's money but never set up the policy. Our consumer investigator Jennifer Krause attended Ketron's hearing today where her attorneys asked for more time to prep their case. And why was that, Jennifer? Well, Rory and Vicki, they said they weren't ready yet because she'd only just hired them yesterday. But we did perhaps get a glimpse into what may be Ketron's defense in the case. Kelsey Ketron sat flanked by two high-powered Nashville attorneys as she waited for her hearing to begin. The state of Tennessee is trying to revoke the 28-year-old Murfreesboro woman's license to sell insurance. As News Channel 5 investigates first revealed Monday, the Tennessee Insurance Division issued a cease and desist order against Ketron, banning her from all insurance-related activities. They allege that Ketron had fraudulently taken a homeowner's money but never set up the policy and lied that she had and that she sold this policy without a valid license. You hope that the floor isn't going to give way when you're walking on it. That homeowner, Susan Calvin of Shelbyville, says a frozen pipe burst in her home in January of 2018. And it wasn't until she tried to file a claim that she learned she wasn't covered. We were deceived, you know, we were, we were taken advantage of, you know, that we paid for a service and it was bogus. Ketron, who's an elected member of the Tennessee State Republican Party's executive committee, is the vice president of the insurance agency, Universal International Insurance in Murfreesboro, while her father, Bill Ketron, a former state senator and current mayor of Rutherford County, is the owner and president of the agency. Tennessee Insurance Division versus Kelsey Ketron. This hearing was supposed to be Ketron's opportunity to answer the allegations, but her attorney asked for more time to prepare, saying he'd only been hired by Ketron yesterday. And the truth is we're not in a position based on fact or law to proceed today. But the state's attorney said he was strongly opposed to any sort of continuance. He said witnesses, including Susan Calvin, had taken the day off from work to be at the hearing. And he insisted that Ketron had been notified of the charges against her and the hearing nearly a month and a half ago. Your Honor, Mr. Harwell's perceived inability to properly prepare for this hearing is entirely due to the actions or inactions of his client, Ms. Ketron. <coughs> While the administrative law judge, Philip Hilliard, seemed to agree with the state, he also agreed to continue the hearing. I think to the extent Ms. Ketron didn't appreciate or understand the gravity of this matter, she now certainly does. While Murfreesboro police told News Channel 5 investigates they have an open criminal investigation in this matter and that charges will follow, after the hearing, Ketron's attorney said, I have seen nothing that suggests there was any criminality or any fraud involved in this. Aubrey Harwell said he had instructed Ketron not to answer our questions and then hinted at what their legal strategy might be when asked if it concerned him that Ketron had waited so long to hire him. Having been told what I was told yesterday about family issues, personal issues, business issues of what she saw and didn't see, I have no concern about that and in time that will play out in court. No date for the next hearing has been set yet. The state suggested September 20th, more than two months from now, but Ketron's attorney said he thought his team was going to need even more time than that to prepare. The judge told the two sides to work it out between them and pick a date. Whenever that is, we plan to be there.